Back in the mid-80s, Laserdisc FMV arcade games were huge. Then people got tired of them. Then, in the early 90s, they were back, baby! And riding on that new wave of resurgence came American Laser Games with the Wild West light gun shootout game known as Mad Dog McCree. This is a game I was pretty excited to tackle for this retrospective. I love light gun games. I'm such a big fan of them, people call me a lightweight. I I'm actually a little surprised I haven't played this before. I mean, it's been ported so many times, you'd think I would have at least played it once. So I bought the HD port for the PS3, so I can play the game as it's meant to be seen. In all its deinterlaced glory. The game starts and it's sort of front-loaded with cutscenes and oh god! I just killed a man. If you successfully murder these stuntmen, the old man will tell you about how the sheriff is locked up in his own jail, and how the key is at the saloon. Then you get to select a stage. In games, I always start at the top left, so I guess we'll go to the stables first. Alright, shoot some guys, and wait, what? What hit me? Uh, apparently you have to shoot at this window because there's someone there you can't see. The game even acknowledges how bullshit this is because it gives you an achievement for dying to it. One life left. Inside the barn is a really hard gunfight. I got a lot of game overs here. But whenever you do die, you get some cutscenes from The Undertaker. He's pretty hammy, so they can be kind of fun. Took a bad hit, but it looks like you're gonna pull through. But whenever you have to restart from a game over, you have to do a quick draw minigame. You think you're in the middle of a hurricane now? It's time for a showdown! Hate it! There's only two of them, so I got pretty good at them. Okay, I cleared out this stupid barn, so what do I get? Nothing? Okay, cool. Whatever. To the bar. The game has some nice stunt work to it, but you're gonna be seeing it a lot. Luckily though, you can just shoot the screen to skip the cutscene. Wait, what? This was a good man you shot. Population 64. I, I just killed the bartender? I, I, I just wanted to skip the cutscene. Okay, whatever. The bartender puts the keys in my mouth, I save the sheriff, I save the prospector to get to the mine, to get to the map, to get to Mad Dog's hideout, I die a bunch along the way, I get to the hideout, I have to do some weird stuff that doesn't register a lot of the times, I die, and finally, I face off with Mad Dog McCree himself. It's an old-fashioned quick draw. That's my turn, stranger! But Mad Dog is wearing body armor, so I have to shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head! Ugh. Damn it, I'm sure I'm shooting him in the head. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'll just look it up. How to beat Mad Dog McCree. Alright, yeah, shoot him in the head. I'll just... I... I got a game over? Concern it! You were one tough hombre to make it this far. Mad Dog McCree is a real product of its time. A game so concerned if it could mix bad full motion video with even worse light gun shooting, it never stopped to think if it should. I'm playing on the PS3 and this version's $8. That's not a lot of money, but considering I only got about an hour of bad times out of this, I'd recommend spending your money somewhere else. Oh wait, there are extras, maybe there's something in that- oh. Oh.